today we're going to be talking about how to automate the carpenter system. First thing you need to do is input your recipe into it. Typically you'll have the recipe side, um, what you're making in the middle, and then um, a type of fluid on the right hand side. In this example we are using creosote oil that is a byproduct of making the coal coke and this is just showing my tank that it's set up to. Um, I'm using Ender Fluid Conduit here and it's extracting from the tank and then putting it into the system. Um, also, it's going to need RF energy. This is just um, my under energy conduit there with a interface hooked up to it. And then with the pattern shown, And then after this, you'll also see that it needs an import bus to import the finished products back into the system. And typically, all you have to do is run the Carpenter machine once with the recipe you want, and then just put the recipe back into the system. And you're going to need one Carpenter box per recipe if you want to keep it automated. Thanks for watching, now get off my lawn.